Hi, I'm Robert Osborne, host of Turner Classic Movies, and I'd like to say a few words about Double Indemnity, a movie originally released in 1944 and looking better than ever in this terrific remastered special edition DVD. There are so many things to say about this film. It is by far one of the best film noir dramas ever made. It also received seven Academy Award nominations, including one for Best Picture of 1944. It has a superb cast headed by Fred McMurray, Barbara Stanwyck, and Edward G. Robinson, all under the direction of Billy Wilder, who co-wrote the script with famed author Raymond Chandler. Interestingly, like many beloved films, this one would have been oh so different if just a few pieces hadn't come together the way they did. One problem from the beginning was the story itself, written by James M. Cain, about adulterers conspiring in a murder insurance scam. Well, the storyline stepped over way too many lines to win approval by the Hollywood Production Code Office, which ruled film content. A script was first submitted to the office in 1935, and it took eight years to get a script finally approved by them. Then Billy Wilder had to find actors willing to portray the story's unsavory characters. It said both Alan Ladd and George Raff turned down the leading male role, at which point Billy Wilder turned to Paramount contract star Fred McMurray, who was best known at that time for his work in romantic comedies. But Billy was able to convince Fred to shake up his screen image and do the film. Billy was also successful in convincing Barbara Stanwyck to play the totally nasty femme fatale in the story. Edward G. Robinson considered passing on the film, not because he objected to the character he was to play, but because it was a supporting role. Robinson hadn't received anything less than top billing since he became a star in the 1931 film Little Caesar, so accepting this part might indicate his status in the film industry had dropped considerably. But Robinson did some soul searching and decided he'd rather gracefully move into character roles in a brilliant script like this one rather than insisting on only playing leads in less interesting films. So he signed on with Billy Wilder and all three stars had reason to be grateful they took a leap of faith with Billy Wilder because this film turned out to be one of the best movies any of them made in their long careers. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I have over the years.